could have drawn adverse reactions and uh, uh, response from international community. So, uh, whom would you give the credit for this test, sir? The, <clears throat> the NSA, uh, whom we report on the strategic matters, has uh, given the direction that we should go ahead with this test and we should do it. And he had the concurrence uh, from the Honorable Prime Minister and uh, given this uh, decision to go ahead. And so we have worked on it and we have done the test. So the credit should be given to the name of the missile. What are we calling it, sir? Uh, it is a ASAT missile, what has been developed very specifically for this uh, application. Uh, this uh, missile uh, has some technologies which we have developed for the ballistic missile defense applications, uh, particularly the kill vehicle. And the rocket motors, what uh, in the missile complex, what we have developed for various other applications. And so, integrating all these things, we developed a completely new missile for this application. Uh, so, uh, uh, people are saying that it's a derivative of the Prithvi. Would that be wrong to say, sir? No, it is not a derivative of Prithvi. Okay. And, and uh, is, today, uh, the, uh, there is a talk that the range of the missile was around 300 kilometers. But uh, can it be, can we hit uh, targets at farther ranges uh, and what is the maximum range? We have the capability to handle the complete lower earth orbit satellites. But we have intentionally chosen at uh, lower altitudes to as a responsible nation to see that all the space assets are safe and the debris are decaying very fast. This is the intention, but we have the capability to do the at the complete lower earth orbit. And the lower earth orbit is uh, up, to up to ranges thousand of thousand kilometers plus. Thousand kilometers plus, and uh, you are saying that uh, if if there is a time. set successfully target to live satellite on a low earth orbit. What is the importance of this? It is very important because today India has demonstrated its technologically ca technological capability that we can engage in low earth orbit and orbiting satellite at any point in time with very high precision. We have the rocketry capability, we have the kill vehicle capability, we have the acquisition capability. We had the network of radars and systems which are able to track satellites which are orbiting in the various orbits, what they are doing, what are their speeds, in which direction they are going, all this information we have. Technologically, we have demonstrated that this entire process of engaging a satellite is completely automated with the help of ground-based radars, mission control centers, launch control centers, all in a very unified manner. They can ac acquire and they, they can acquire the, the, the orbiting satellite and send our own interceptor with a precision of better than one millisecond so that it can directly hit a satellite. That is what has been achieved. If you want to today have the deterrence capability that if adverse na adversaries, that means nations across the world, if they want to weaponize or militarize space, India has the technological capability to match them. But per se, India has no plans to weaponize space. We use space only for peaceful purpose. And that is what Prime Minister has been saying. 
This launch is not against any nation. This launch is not against any other country. This launch is basically to create the technological capability in India so that we are not found wanting when an emergency like that arises. During the UPA government, the DRDO proposes to the UPA government for the, this kind of anti-satellite weapon. But that was at that time not given the clearance from the UPA government. I want, I want to put it in the right perspective. DRDO, particularly myself, when I was a scientific advisor, we made presentations to the National Security Advisors, to the National Security Council, that today DRDO has the capability to develop anti-satellite weapon system, which can do a kinetic hit against a satellite. If we are given the go-ahead, it will take about two years to two and a half years to demonstrate this capability. When such discussions were held, they were heard by all concerned at that time. Unfortunately, we did not get a positive response that, look, gentlemen, this is a good suggestion, please go ahead. Such a response did not come through. Because when that response did not come through and, and necessary financial resources were not put or provided, we did not go ahead with the program. But the after Narendra Modi, but then he had given the green signal and then DRDO. In, I don't know when, but I think most probably it was during the period of when Mr. Parikar was the defense minister. When the proposal was put up by Dr. Satish Reddy, who is the scientific advisor today, and the national security advisor, Mr. Dowal, to the prime minister, and the importance of such a technology was highlighted to him. Prime Minister had the courage, had the initiative, had the vision, and based on that, he gave the permission to go ahead this kind of a launch. But you are saying that if the, uh, such kind, at that time the Prime Minister UPA uh, government, then it was happened earlier, not in 2019. If the clearances were given, given in 2012 or 13, I'm quite certain that this launch would have taken place in 2015 or 14. Space defense is crucial and is advanced technology. India has designed anti-satellite missile to neutralize satellites. It is a three-stage BMD interceptor missile. The radar identifies the target and tracks the satellite movement. The missile is launched from the launcher. Traveling at high speeds, the stage separation happens. The ground radars guide the missile in its path. The heat shield separated. The missile locks onto the incoming satellite. It hits the target and neutralizes it successfully. The anti-ballistic missile is crucial technology for the nation. आप सबका अभिनंदन, आपका परिश्रम रंग लाया. जो किसी का बुरा नहीं सोचता है, वो अगर शक्तिहीन हो जाएगा, तो बुरा सोचने वालों की ताकत बुराइयों को जन्म देती रहेगी. और इसलिए भी जो किसी का बुरा नहीं सोचता है, उसका सबसे ज्यादा बलवान होना बहुत आवश्यक होता है. और सबसे बड़ी गौरव की बात होगी, जो सपना हम देख रहे हैं हमेशा, हर क्षेत्र में मेक इन इंडिया, मेड इन इंडिया, आप लोगों ने दुनिया को ये संदेश दे दिया है अपनी सफलता के माध्यम से कि हम भी कुछ कम नहीं हैं।